Hey guys, thanks for joining us in One Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm going to look at the first expansion, The Chronicles of Crime. This is Noir. In this expansion, this is going to take place in the 1940s and 50s, and you get to play a private eye investigating different things. This one is going to include four new scenarios and a lot of new components that are going to add a new art style to the game and some new features as well. So in the video, I'm going to go through and show you what's included in the, in the box, and I'm also going to go through some of the new rules for you. So you're ready to jump in and try this expansion out. So if you find this video helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel as it really does make a big difference. It helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. If you want to stay all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table and I'll teach you guys how to play. So first let's start out by looking at what comes in the box. So you're going to get 15 brand new locations, including a home location. You'll have 10 new special item cards and 30 new character cards and each one of these is going to have brand new artwork on it and it's a different perspective taking you back to the age of noir so some really interesting art with that and then finally there's a brand new feature with this there are four action cards with these they're going to let you do special actions depending upon when you do them so the first one we have is intimidation with this one you can play it hard and really force your suspect to try to get them to talk the next one we have is Corruption, which will let you bribe your or the person you're interrogating. Then we have Break In, which will allow you to break into certain locations, going against the law and being very sneaky. And then finally we have the Shadowing, which is going to let you shadow somebody that you're investigating. So each one of these features is going to be brand new and you'll be able to scan these in when you choose to use them. But be careful, in Noir nothing is as it appears and even your allies are at risk with this. Each scenario is going to tell you which allies you have and those allies may end up betraying you, being murdered, or being dishonest with you. So you have to really play it close to the chest with this expansion and it's going to have some really cool twists and turns. All the cards in the expansion are also going to be identified by the little hat that is going to be in the corner of those. So besides the new theme for this particular expansion, the only new feature are these action cards. So I'd like to go into a little bit more detail about those real quick. So first off, with the intimidation card, you're going to scan this when you're interrogating a suspect. And this is going to kind of rough them up or start pressing them for more information. The downside to this is that some suspects can react very badly to this intimidation, may end up seeking revenge from you or even trying to attack you. So you'll have to plan when to use that very carefully. The next one we have is break in, which is going to, again, allow you to break in when the front door is locked. Maybe you've showed up to a location that's at, at night when it is closed and you need to get in there. So this is going to allow you to do that. But you want to be careful how much time you spend at these locations because you may end up getting arrested yourself for breaking in illegally. So you're going to have to very carefully choose when to use this. Next we have shadowing and with this one you're going to be able to shadow a suspect to determine if they're lying or showing you certain things that you need to find out. The one downside to this obviously is it's going to take a lot of time from you and time in this is very important so you're going to have to be careful on when you choose to shadow and how long you shadow somebody. The final one we have is corruption which is going to allow you to bribe somebody with money. Now again the downside to this is money is rare in this and it's going to cost you $20 each time you do this. So you're going to have to be very selective in when you do these actions. And any of these actions are going to have repercussions to them. The big theme with Noir is that no matter what you're doing, everything is going to have consequences. So choosing when to use some of these is going to be very critical to being successful in the scenario you've chosen to play.